Hi there and welcome to this module. In this module we're going to be talking about retaining the leads and ramping up this business to the next level. Okay, so so far if you've been paying attention to the modules in the lead up to this video, we would have got to a position where we have selected our offer, we've created the link, we've produced our video, we've uploaded it to YouTube and then we've tweaked it for performance okay which is great so in theory your video is going to be played people are going to watch it they're going to click on the link they're going to go on to the offer and then the affiliate earnings will fall to you now the only problem is is that we lose that customer as soon as that happens we don't really have any involvement with that customer and to some degree some people would say that's great I don't want any uh, communication with this person I just want to earn my affiliate earnings um, without any like customer service really but the beauty in retaining their information is that if you have an offer which is similar you can promote that to that person again and as you know they were interested in the first offer there's a highly high likelihood that they will be interested in a, in a similar offer okay so what we need to do is we need to extract their details. Extract their details so that we can market to them at a later date. And how we do that is by inserting a page between our video and the affiliate offer. Okay, this is what's called a landing page. Some people call it an opt-in page. Some people call it a squeeze page. Okay, and that is pretty that will effectively effectively become our link from YouTube and then they will get to the opt-in page and then the opt-in page will lead to the offer. So that's brilliant. So how do we do that? There's two parts. So first of all, you need a piece of software that will collate the details. And this is an email marketing software. They're online based. Some people call them autoresponders. So what we always recommend is Aweber. So you can go to Aweber, they're a highly respected company. Uh, they've worked with hundreds of thousands of customers to produce the email lists. Okay, so you can sign up for them. There's a link on our page uh, below or above this video. Let's make it easier for you. So sign up, sign up. Um, for the Aweber account. Once you've got the Aweber account, it gives you a whole range of options to create a number of email lists. So you can make email lists specifically for one offer, for every offer, uh, for specific parts of an offer. So when you're sending emails out, you can target people specifically, which is really, really great. You can also set up the features so that as soon as they're on their list, you could have a range of emails pre-written so that over the course of time they will automatically get the emails so for instance they sign up on your email opt-in and then next day they receive an email saying hey thanks blah 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 then a week later they say hey you need to check out this and then another week later hey thanks for checking out that etc etc and it creates a rapport with these people and it's a whole brilliant marketing tool to create sales for whatever you're marketing so this is essential if you want to ramp up your business to the next level okay so once you've um, once you've got the Aweber you then have to go into um, you need you then need to create a landing page uh, which we previously uh, mentioned now the market leader in landing pages is a company called lead pages it's a brilliant service you have to pay for it but what you will gain back in having optimized landing pages that work lead pages are obviously they have thousands and thousands of customers and they're they're checking their landing pages to make sure that they're providing templates that they know work that they know get people interested so I'm just going to show you a brief tutorial 
on how to set up a, a little landing page. So once you've signed up, you log in, and what you want to do is you want to choose one of these pages. So you've got all range of different things that you can have a landing page for pretty much anything that you might be doing as you take your business forward. So just say we're going to click opt in. So that's what we're interested in. So you, as you can see, there's a wide range of different pages for different purposes, but they're fully uh, customizable. So I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't worry about logos or photos because you can you can change them. You can change. You can find alternatives and change it. So I'm just going to show you uh, just an, an easy, simple one. Um, we're going to just choose this one because it's simple. You click on it, and this is your industry. It really doesn't matter what you choose here because it's just really for their statistics. So this page will load in a few seconds once it's downloaded. Right, so we've got to this page, and as you can see, this is the page that they will see. But obviously, this is all information that, well, it isn't isn't um, relevant to what we want to do. So what you can do is you can just click in it, highlight that text, and say um, "gain access now." Yeah, we'll go with gain access. Gain access now, right? And then in here we're going to add a little bit more text, and we're going to say, "Become a millionaire with five million five dollars investment." Enter your email address to find out how. Um, sorry, we want to we want to change this. So as you said, that wasn't one was wasn't as simple. You just need to click on the cog link options and we're going to go uh, just right click here simple as simple as so I click done so that's brilliant and we've done that now that looks pretty pretty good but obviously it needs to be doing something so if we just actually click here right because each each section is clickable and this is obviously the click button so we're going to click here and it, this is what's going to happen when they click on it so you can see all this text is pretty pretty good name email we for, for, for most things you don't need the number and i think it, it could be quite off-putting okay so you just click just to cross that off it's gone here um what we want to do is we don't want to download the report we want to just write click here just simple 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 okay so that is as good as it is click OK so what you need to do is you need to click integration settings and here you're going to choose your um, Aweber account and it's just as simple as that click on that right so the other thing what you need to do is you need to add a thank you page because obviously once they click there once they click there they've entered your their email address and that's been sent to your Aweber account to start building the list but obviously they need to go they need to get to where they wanted to get to okay so who what we were going what we're going to do here is we're just going to click OK and we're going to go to the thank you page now look you can see it says here enter thank you page URL and you can use a default page and whatever but obviously we want to send them to a page where we want them to send so I'm just going to gain my affiliate link that we've already put on the YouTube page so I'm going to click that there, and then I'm going to stick that, simple as that, in there. OK. OK. So in theory, uh, I'm just going to write, just choose a name and say, um, sugar. So $5 M done and I'll just so just so I can find it at a later date 
So we're now going to click save. And that is basically it saved it under my um, files within my account on uh, lead pages. So now we're going to click publish. So there's a whole wide range. You can put it on Facebook, your own server, your own website. Um, but for the, for the purposes of this instruction, we're just going to create lead pages. It just does it with the account. And basically we can view page and see what it's going to do. So this is it. And it is exactly how we thought it was going to be. And it, look, I've just tried to click in it. It won't let me. You need to fill out the details. So we'll just cross that off for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to click done. And basically, it's as simple as that. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to insert that back into YouTube and do a little bit of a twist to make sure it looks super professional. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been interesting and I hope you're going to take action on what we've shown you here to ramp it up to the next level. Thanks very much and see you in the next video.